Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be uh, binding a Tanigi 8 channel receiver with uh, the Tanigi 9X transmitter. Uh, I'm going to show you how it's done. It's pretty simple and uh, straightforward process. So uh, I'll show you how it's done. You need to power up the receiver with uh, something like maybe you can even use a ESC for this, a brushless motor ESC because uh, this plug gives uh, 5 volts as a supply which you can use as a supply to power up the uh, uh, receiver before the uh, uh, binding process so uh, first you power up the ESC I'm using a LiPo battery for this get the banana jacks in Uh, make sure you connect uh, the terminals properly uh, uh, you can either use the battery the I don't know whether you can see this uh, the battery uh, pin set or you can use either one of these uh, channel pins to power this up so I'll uh, because it's too close together I'll be uh, connecting it to one of the channels Okay, and then you have this uh, uh, binding plug, which comes with the receiver. Usually, you can make one of um, uh, one of these on your own, using uh, female to female jumper wires or using a servo motor plug, something like this. Using a plug like this. So what you need to do is you need to shorten the bind pins so the pins on the ex at the two extremities this end the one at this end and one at this end they should be shortened during the binding process so it's what it does so you plug this in so before the uh, receiver is bound with the transmitter you can see there's a blinking light once the uh, receiver is powered up uh, after the binding process, the uh, light should shine steadily. So uh, let's see how this is done. So the bind binding process involves uh, here in the back of the transmitter. There's a module. The uh, there's a tiny key module attached to this transmitter. You can see this uh, circular switch. This is the binding switch. So what you have to do is just press it and keep it pressed while the transmitter is on. Uh, sorry, I mean off and switch on the transmitter. Now release the binding switch. Switch off the transmitter. And switch it on. Now we can see that the uh, the blinking of the uh, receiver has stopped which means that the transmitter is uh, bound with the uh, receiver so it's that simple uh, not a big deal I just uh, just need a uh, binding plug and a power source so you can use an ESC like this for that or and you can make uh, your own binding plug uh, using a, uh, a female to female jumper wire so it's pretty easy. Uh, I'll sh I'll just connect this uh, Tower Pro 9 gram uh, servo to th to uh, one of the channels, and uh, we'll see how it operates. Okay, so I have uh, removed the bind plug from the uh, bind pins, and uh, connected this 9 gram servo to the first channel, and uh, as you can see the transmitter and receiver communicating perfectly so it's really simple uh, so next time you want to bind uh, your transmitter and uh, receiver just follow the steps and you'll be there thanks for watching